Hey Internet, this is Alex R on Fight Games, and here in this video I want to help you with picking a fighting game. And this is a question that people ask a lot. Um, they come to Reddit and they ask, uh, you know, I want to get into fighting games, which game should I play? And the answer for that is going to vary a lot, uh, depending on who you are and kind of what you're looking for. But in this video I want to give you um, some criteria that you can think about uh, so that you can um, have some structure in picking uh, for maybe your first game or maybe uh, a new game to get into. So what are these criteria? These are in kind of what I would consider to be a decreasing order of importance. So first, you gotta pick a game that you like. And uh, we'll talk about reasons why you might like a game, but they're all valid, it's fine. Like, whatever you like, you like, and that's, that's what's important. Um, second to that, um, if you've already got friends who are into fighting games, maybe you wanna play with them. Maybe play what your friends are playing. Consider that. Um, additionally, when you're looking for people to play with, maybe you want to play with strangers or people who are not yet your friends, but might be your friends later. So you want a game that has a big player base, all other things being equal. Uh, and then as a balance for that, uh, you want a game with good netcode. Uh, ideally, you want both. And then finally, all things being equal, uh, you want, I would argue, a newer game over an older one. Um, and we'll talk about uh, the trade-off there. But the most important thing, far and away, uh, the most important thing is finding a game that you like personally. Because if you're trying to get into a game, you want to enjoy your time with it. And whatever you like about the game that makes you think it's sick, that's totally valid. It's great. You might love the art of the game. You might like the way the characters look on the screen. There might be particular characters that you love for whatever reason. There was a really good um, uh, video about this done by Corey Gaming, which I'll share in the description. Uh, about reasons why you might like a character, and they're all fine, they're great. Uh, maybe you identify with them, maybe there's like a particular archetype that you love, maybe you like big wrestlers, or maybe you're thirsty for some of the characters, maybe you're thirsty for big wrestlers. That's great. Um, so there's the characters, there's the art, um, there's the gameplay of the game. This is like arguably really, really important. Maybe some of the attacks are super satisfying to do. Uh, maybe you look at high level um, tournament footage of the game and you think, wow that's amazing i want to do that so that gives you like something you can grow into and something you can like aspire towards that's wonderful if that's if that's what you like about a game then more power to you do that game um there's also um what you can do just kind of right off the bat and maybe that's really satisfying maybe just pressing certain buttons is is fun um, when we're talking about gameplay for a game some games are more mechanically complex than others and there's been a trend recently of trying to develop fighting games with kind of a, a smaller mechanical complexity. And opinions vary as to whether this is actually good for new players. Games might have like wonderful sound design, like maybe you love the way, like I personally love the way Killer Instinct sounds, right? So just the music is incredible, like just the, the Mick Gordon soundtrack, right? Like all the songs in Killer Instinct rule. And the announcer is incredible and the sound effects are incredible and the integration of the, I, I should play more Killer Instinct. KI rules so hard. Um, music in Tekken is amazing. Like, I love all of it. Um, yeah, and, you know, Guilty Gear, obviously. So, like, whatever it is that you love about the sound effects or the announcer or whatever, it's it's cool. Like, what what you enjoy aesthetically about a fighting game, that's good, and you should, you should play the games that you like aesthetically. Uh, and finally, price, obviously. Um, some games are free. Uh, some games are low cost, and you know you should play games that you can access uh, in your budget. Okay, so obviously, if you've got friends who are already playing fighting games, consider playing those fighting games. Maybe that would be cool. Um, maybe your area has a scene that's already into um, some games. So if you check around on social media, um, you might be able to find people in your area who are playing those games, and that'll be more relevant. Um, as we eventually get out of the pandemic and you know local uh, events start happening again but um so you know what what's happening in your area maybe that's relevant um maybe you can find a meetup for soul caliber in your area and you should go to that maybe that'd be cool um so if you want to play with strangers uh games that have like big player bases are going to be uh, easier for you to find people to fight um, maybe if you're into a game with uh, good matchmaking uh, and it's got a big player base, uh, that's good, right? Because then you can find, like, if you just queue up in ranked, just find people to fight and fight them, right? Uh, 
opinions vary again as to whether that's like a good way to to uh to learn a fighting game uh that's what i like to do i like you know, I like having fighting game friends, but I also just want to fight randos. Give me just a stream of mediocre players, and then I'll gradually get less mediocre. That's how I learn fighting games. That might not be you. Maybe you need, like, close personal, you know, connections with a community. Um, and then also you want a fighting game with good uh, netcode. So the best netcode, right, is rollback netcode. And um, there's a lot of modern games nowadays that have it. Uh, and then some games are getting retrofitted with it, and that has been causing like uh, big upticks in their in their interest and viability as a game that you could get into. Mm -hmm. So um, Guilty Gear um, XX Accent Core Plus R got rollback netcode, right? And that made everybody start playing it. Now you can play Plus R really viably. Um, same with uh, KOF 2002. Mm -hmm. uh, so even like a game that has a small player base. You can really meaningfully play it if it's got good netcode and crossplay ideally, which means that you can fight people no matter what platform they're on. Um, it's really unfortunate that a lot of fighting games nowadays have like segmented populations uh, across, you know, like PS4 players can't fight Steam players, can't fight Xbox players. Some games have crossplay and that's great. Uh, so other things being equal, look for a game with rollback netcode uh, and crossplay. Uh, and then finally, I would argue that you should uh, tend to pick newer games uh, on average. You can play older games. That's fine. Like, there'll be good materials and maybe there's still community uh, going on for that game. But, uh, you know, if you pick a newish game, then there's going to be a rush of people coming in when it launches uh, or, you know, soon after the launch. So that'll help you get in on the ground floor with a bunch of other new players. Uh, and other things being equal, in general, you should play, like, the latest game in the series. Like, if somebody came in and said, I want to play Tekken, and they said, which Tekken should I play? The answer is obvious. Like, you should, if you don't know which Tekken game you should play, you should play Tekken 7, because that's where the community is right now. Um, if somebody was like, oh, yeah, I really want to learn Tekken, like, let me play, you know, Tekken 6, then there's not a lot of people playing Tekken 6 right now, and, you know, so you should probably play 7. Same with, like, Mortal Kombat. You see occasionally people are like, oh, should I play MK10 or MK11? You should play 11, clearly. Uh, unless you have some reason to play 10. So, in conclusion, you're going to be fine. Pick a fighting game. Pick whatever you like. Pick a game where you feel like you can get some matches. Uh, you don't have to just play one fighting game. And you don't have to play one fighting game for your whole life. You can switch around. You can be juggling multiple fighting games at once. It's all right. Uh, this is just a hobby. This is your free time. You're probably not gonna go pro with this, but if you do, you know, that's great. Um, get in there and play some fighting games. And now, let's look at some examples. Uh, this is a website called uh, fgcharts.com, which I will link to in the description. And what they've got here is uh, metrics based on how many people are playing the games on Steam. So this only reflects PC games that are on Steam. Uh, there are obviously other fighting games, and they're they're very fine, and you 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 know should consider playing them if you're on a, uh, another platform. Uh, so what do we got here? We got Brawlhalla. Um, oh, and they've got this uh, knob here. This is FGC titles only, and what that means is basically like they're kind of excluding some kinds of titles, like they're like platform fighters don't count, you know, arena fighters don't count. I tell you what. Don't let these hipsters tell you not to play these games. If you think these games are great, play them. Uh, so, for example, if you click this, like Brawlhalla goes away, right? It's a totally reasonable game, right? It's a platform fighter, which is, is kind of like in the, the Smash-alike genre. If you're into that, play that, right? So people are playing Tekken. That's great. Um, I love Tekken. It's my main game. Uh, it has, like, okay netcode. Not the best. It got better. Um, since season four, a little bit. Street Fighter V, right? A bunch of people play it. Uh, it's, again, got okay netcode. These two games have rollback, but, like, not great rollback. Uh, for Honor, so this is an arena fighter. Um, I think there used to be a pretty big competitive scene for this. I don't know. Dragon Ball Fighters, right? Um... If you're into, if you think Dragon Ball is like the sickest thing and you like team games, uh, this is probably a game you want to play. 
Uh, it's got bad net code, but like a lot of people are playing it, so you can probably find good matches. MK11 has is like the the trifecta of like everything you could want in a fighting game, right? It's got a really good rollback. Um, it's the newest game in the series. It's got crossplay. So if you get MK11, you can fight people on any platform that MK11's on, I think. Um, at least between Xbox and PS4 or PS5, you can fight across. Um, I just don't play it because it's too gory for me. Uh, and I don't want to play it, so I don't play it. Uh, I don't know what this is. These are like... Probably don't play these unless you're into it. Rivals of Ether, right? So this is getting rollback netcode. This is another platform fighter. It's kind of like like Smash. Guilty Gear, uh, and the, it's real cute pixel art. Um, yeah, these are all good games, right? Guilty Gear Exerd, the soundtrack is incredible. Character designs. Uh, if you want to play Guilty Gear, but you don't, you're not into Guilty Gear yet, I would recommend waiting one week from today and you'll be able to play the new one, which is about to drop. And it's going to have really, really good netcode. Um... Yeah, I'm really excited for Strive in a week. Um, and probably, like, it's going to have a huge player base. Everybody's excited about it. This is Plus R. This is Accent Core Plus R. This one just came out uh, with rollback, like, uh, within the past year or so. And now it's got... right. This So this game is really, really old, but they retrofitted it with good netcode, and now, you know, like, a lot of people are playing it. Uh, MKX. I don't really know the difference between... MKX and MK11, but I don't play them for the same reason. It's uh, it's too much for me. But if you love that, play that stuff, right? This one has good netcode, too. You should play it. If, uh, yeah. Soul Calibur. You know, so there's, like, a lot of games here, and some of them are kind of niche. But as you go down here, like, some of them have, like, really, really good netcode and, like, real tight-knit communities, like them fighting herds, you know? And then some of them... Oh, my God, KI... KI is, like, underreported here because people mostly play this on the Windows Store and Xbox as opposed to the Steam version. So there are people playing KI. They're just not... Uh, they're not on Steam as much. Uh, Fantasy Strike, right, has... Um, uh, this is one of the simplified games. Like, it's, it's really stripped down, mechanically simple, so it's, like, really straightforward to learn what's happening. Um, I think this game is, is fun. I, w I would recommend it. And it's free to play, so you can play it for zero dollars if you want. I would recommend. Uh, yeah, and like a lot of good games in here, right? Uh, and some of these are getting pretty. Oh, this one's so charming, Maiden and Spell. It's very, uh, it's really really cute. Um, but very few people playing it. So if you're looking to fight other people, you might have trouble getting a match. Uh, yeah, games, a lot of games. So. Like I said, you'll do fine. Pick a game. It'll be great. You can switch around and get in there. All right. Thanks. Play fighting games.